Being stationed at Anderson Air Force Base means subjecting yourself to many natural hazards that troops stationed elsewhere may not experience. One of the most surprisingly hazardous are Guam's waters. It's for this reason that the Air Force and Navy team up to provide the island with naval helicopter search and rescue capabilities out of Anderson. Along with Air Force and local fire departments, as well as the Coast Guard, these sailors work to exercise their joint efforts to assure readiness for a real-world rescue. Whenever we uh, actually would get a real SAR call, that's going to help us be prepared, know that we can actually perform the mission. So uh, when we work with the Coast Guard, they're usually the ones giving us the call to go uh, work with those guys just so we're a lot more proficient and when it comes down to actually performing the mission that we can do that without even really thinking about it. From the ground, the Anderson Fire Department joins forces with the Guam Fire Department to provide aid from the shores. This includes gathering such equipment as jet skis and litters in the event that they can respond to a rescue more efficiently than other agencies. Once their equipment hits the water, the firefighters take off into the ocean to help. Meanwhile in the skies, HSC-25 rescue helicopters can be seen sweeping the area to assist in this cohesive, life-saving effort. Up here it's kind of Anderson Fire Department's jurisdiction, but in the event we need Coast Guard or Navy HSC-25 to help respond, they kind of know the area. Any other agency that's that's willing to help. It's always beneficial. It brings a different aspect to the exercise or to any emergency. This is not a responsibility that can be taken lightly. These responders have a very short amount of time to respond to an emergency. And if all the proper procedures aren't executed, they too could be in need of a rescue. Reporting from Anderson Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class, Adam Harder.